Hey guys, this is Hell Hades free to play. Guys, we're on the free to play account. What I'm going to do is talk through the new fragment event. The uh, Mighty Uko is live. And actually, damn, we might have some cool stuff about this fragment event in this video, which is unusual. Yeah, we know this is a great champion. I've, I've expressed that everybody should go after this champion if they have got some sort of means to do so. And I've got some great news. Okay, we've just had the, the kind of plan, planner drop. We will be having a live page on hellhades.com where we update the fragment event every day around what you should be doing. And I'll try and do perhaps every other day or something around the free to play how I'm trying to tackle this event. Now they dropped this kind of uh, planner. And as I say, this is extremely unusual because we can, we, we know up front where the two summoning events are. There's always two, basically. A summon rush and a champion chase. Now, the champion chase, you're able to bring, bring out like any of the, the fusions and stuff like that that you've, you've kept hold of, right? So generally, they're easier to complete. Yeah, so if you've got any kind of fragments and stuff kind of waiting to go like I've got here with Drex, that's just points in the bag on a champion chase. So normally is the champion chases first on these events normally that's the the first one that we get to see and normally like it is this time around it's 15 points which means you have to get involved in the summon rush now i'm pretty sure this is unusual but summon rush is first this time around and it's 20 points and basically what it means is you don't actually need to do the champion chase at all if you can do the summon rush yeah so if you could complete this summon rush there's enough points everywhere else to just do one summoning event which i think is pretty significant uh and i think certainly on the free to play that's the way i'm going to approach it uh depending on you know how i'm doing for other stuff but let's just kind of break it down then the first weekend we've got ice golem and it overlaps with dungeon divers so make sure you're double dipping your points make sure you're making use of your ultimate death knight uh, you know i run ultimate death knight with a burner and i do like a four minute stage 25 clear which is going to be really helpful for stuff like this uh, i've done videos on that my solo ultimate death knight build you should go and check it out if you haven't seen it but yeah basically the ice golem overlaps with the dungeon diver so you want to get double points there classic arena honestly that is just about how active are you refreshing the arena if you're active you will absolutely do that yeah you shouldn't be using any gems here and because this spans over like three days there should be no gems required here Summoner Rush, you've either got shards available or you have not. That's pretty much where it's at. Um, we then dip into Fire Knights. Um, does overlap a bit towards the end with Dungeon Divers. And we've got Champion Training. So you've got to think about the sort of Monday through Thursday through Friday. You know, spreading your energy between these uh, couple of events. And it's a bit of a watch out, really. The new twins sucks energy away from this sort of stuff and i know that it's ex an exciting new dungeon and there's new rewards and they're kind of cool and fun just be aware your energy is going to get pulled in different directions make sure you're not leaving yourself short make sure you're not burning your gems but again we've got kind of two tournaments and then there's a dungeon diver towards the back end so it might be that you stack energy and you just kind of blitz it through this dungeon divers i would say you're better off getting your champion training stuff done earlier and then through the fire night perhaps do your dungeon divers at that point or you know, a bit of an overlap but i wouldn't just sit on energy it would get stressful just kind of burn your energy getting the the best kind of rewards done again as i uh, approach these different things i will show you my teams this video i'm going to show you my ice golem and i'm going to do my summoning on the free to play um active act event have you got enough silver yes or no you'll get silver from doing this farming anyway just be sensible with it should be able to get that done no problem Champion Chase, as I say, if you've done the Summon Rush, you won't need it. If you haven't, and we're going to look at the Summon Rush in a sec, then you're probably going to have to take some points here. Um, but I'm, I'm aiming to not use any points here at all. Spider Tournament, it's just energy. It does overlap with this Dungeon Divers as well. So, you know, you've kind of got a few, few stabs at this Dungeon Divers here. Another Arena, again, over a few days, that'll be fine. Another Artifact Event, you've got more silver you're kind of gathering through this Spider. If you're struggling with spider stage 10 is the way to go um and I'll, I'll kind of explain that as we get closer in the events and then we've got towards the end here champion training mark 2 alongside the dungeon divers and dragons so it feels like 
it's a pretty comfortable schedule to me. Yeah, you've got to play the game, all that type of stuff. Anyone who doesn't play the game is unlikely to get a fragment event, but it feels like it's a pretty comfortable schedule. Let's um, have a quick look at the summon rush. It's probably about where I thought it would be, honestly. So some people are probably going to be upset about this. They're valuing mortal soul stones at quite a high level, in my opinion. We get the coins along the way. Anyway, 3,500 points to max out this champion, uh, the summon rush. It's about where I thought it would be. That's seven sacred. You get the kind of scoring down the bottom here. It's, you know, if you've got maybe five sacreds, then you've got to top it up elsewhere. If you've got maybe three sacreds, you've got to get 2,000 points elsewhere. Don't forget mystery shards are a point and you can kind of blitz up. But if you're not going to hit this 15, damn, that's going to, that's going to put you under stress because trying to hit 2,000 points, you know, for five, it's like there's way more value hitting 20 for three and a half thousand points. Way more value. If you're struggling to hit like the 2,000 points, chances are this fragment event is not going to be for you. That's, that's the honest truth here because you really have got to push yourself into here. And hopefully you guys saw my how to get this fusion uh, earlier in the week or last week and um, have been able to get yourself some shards to get that done. But yeah, basically, this is, for me, this is, can I do the fusion or not? Can I get this champion or not? Can I hit three and a half thousand points? Once that is done, this fragment event, I think it's, it's plain sailing for anyone who's been playing the game for more than like six weeks. That's my view. Um, the rest of the rewards leading up to it, pretty, pretty bad really, but there you go. Uh, yeah, sometimes people make the mistake. They burn tons of resources day one, like gems and stuff, to get things like dungeon divers done. And then it's a four day event. Like, don't waste resources. You've got four days. Don't be like, I need to complete it in the first second. Yeah, it's a silly way to do it because you'll burn yourself out and then you won't be able to achieve the other stuff. But at 3750, it's quite deep, but not crazy. You know, normally we, see, we can see them up to like five, 6,000 sometimes. So the early one here for Dungeon Diver is not too bad. Let's have a look if we've got any others that have dropped already. The ice golden one, I guess, has probably dropped. Oh, it's dropping soon. These are normally around a couple of thousand of energy, normally, worth of farming. So I just kind of weigh up what you're going to do. So we do have the additional uh, chances to summon some pretty damn sexy champions here. I mean, Totora would be awesome on the free to play. So would Truff, actually, is a great healer. Duchess as well, um, obviously, is insane. So the way I'm going to do this on the free to play, I've got 12 sacreds yeah it's like clan boss city every day i do clan boss i get sacreds it's the way it goes i've still got today's to reset yet so i'm in a good spot for shards here on the free to play um so i'm just going to go in and pull i think i'm going to pull six sacreds and maybe burn 500 mysteries and then keep the rest of the shards for you know guaranteed events and stuff like that so here we go five sacreds no, six sacreds I'm going to pull, sorry. Six sacreds and then 500 mysteries. Yeah, hard the stone. Not what I'm after. Miscreate monster. Good champion. Although on the free to play, I feel like I've got shield champions coming out of my backside right now. So I don't know how relevant he is. Like once upon a time, that would have been an absolute godlike pull. I mean, for the, the faction was, he still is, to be fair. But in terms of the account where it is right now, Probably don't need him that much. Lady Killen, probably a bit past needing her, honestly. But again, good for Faction Wars. Another epic. King of Gashi. This is the Revive Champion, which is going to be useful for Faction Wars as well. Gonna be number five. Come on. First gold. Man. Killian. <laughs> Killian the Lucky. Yowza. I mean, he is insanely good for Faction Wars. He is. It's very good for Faction Wars. Outside of that, he's not going to get much playtime. Okay, last one. Another legendary Astrolith. <laughs> Astrolith is super niche. Super niche PvP. She's the anti-stone skin. 
She gets some playtime in Bommel. Actually, she's in my main Bommel team. But damn, double legendary. And it's going to make pretty much zero difference to this account. Uh, so there you go. So I've done 3,000 points. I guess I'll show you an Ice Golem run just to kind of see this through, as I said I would. So I'm farming stage 25 here. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to show it because it'll waste my energy. But stage 25, I've got a burner and I've got my ultimate death knight. And then I'm using food for the rest. So we're basically just running food in the other slots. I do like to have a resistance aura on the main piece. So what's this guy's aura? Boom tower, no good. So I need dungeons here, which or all battles, which is kind of rare to find, honestly, in food champions. But there you go. But yeah, basically, I run it like this. And it's about a four minute run, uh, four to six minutes, depending on how lucky I get. Maybe it's about six minutes. This is the stats on my ultimate death knight. Nearly 4k defense, 41k health, 200 odd speed, enough accuracy and a bit of resistance. And then my walking tomb, who's basically a burner. Any burner that's going to do this job. Drex does it fine. He's basically set up as a, um, as a clan boss champion for me. But there you go. The fusion is out. It looks like it's doable for a lot of us if we've got the initial shard pool for summon rush. Uh, and as I say, I will link down below the updated uh, guide for the website as soon as it gets done. And then that will be updated every single day so you know where you should be focusing your time and your energy. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.